We're just talking to uh, Ramesh Tamani about the year gone by. If there's one stock which has really stood out in amidst the ruins of the stock market, it's Hero Honda. It's actually trading very close to 52-week highs. I don't think you can find too many stocks which are doing that in this market. It's delivered positive returns last year and this year in a market which has collapsed 60%. Pawan Munjal of Hero Honda is with us here now to tell us whether this amazing streak for his stock can continue going into 2010 fiscal. Pawan, morning. Thanks for joining in. Uh, you will probably end up this year with uh, about 37 lakh or 3.7 million vehicles sold. Uh, do you think fiscal year 2010 you can cross uh, 4 million easily? Um, well, I'm definitely going to try crossing that, but, but easily, I'm not <laughs> sure. Times, times uh, are going to be tougher, in my view, over the next couple of quarters. Mm. Why do you say that? Because uh, you've actually been one of the companies which have managed very good volume growth over the last few difficult quarters for the economy. Why do you feel that uh, things may be tough for the next two, three quarters? Well, I'm, I'm talking, uh, let's say, for the economy in general. Uh, and when I look around India, across the world, uh, we all know things are not getting any better right now. Things are only getting tougher and in some cases worse. And obviously, all that impact also comes on India as well. And within, within the country also, if you, if you look at, uh, let's say, agriculture, agriculture is not doing too well. We haven't had any, any good rain so far in the last six or seven months. And uh, my personal belief is that uh, over the next couple of quarters, things are going to get tougher. Um, the banks have the monies. The banks are not lending monies. The central bank keeps bringing down the rates but the banks are not passing on the benefit to the consumers. And when you take the special case of two-wheelers, there is huge risk aversion amongst the banks. Mr. Munjal, morning. A large segment of your sales, though, comes from this entire rural area. Are you saying that this, uh, it is a fallacy to put out this idea that the rural part of India is actually booming, demand and sentiment over there is still extremely buoyant, and that's probably going to keep the, the, the appetite for two-wheelers and, in extension, the economy as well more buoyant? I'm not saying that at all. Uh, it's not a fallacy at all. Uh, the, our belief at Hero Honda is that rural markets are going to be a, a huge focus, at least in Hero Honda. Uh, a lot of money has been pumped into the rural markets by the, the government in the last couple of years. The Bharat Nirman, the, the, uh, you know, the rural employment generation schemes, and uh, now, of course, with the pay commission, uh, money is getting into the hands of the government employees. All of that is, is definitely going to be helping. And the fact that the penetration in the rural markets is under 10%. And you know, at Hero Honda, we have the special uh, focus with the rural vertical and, and our slogan of uh, Har Gaon, Har Angan. We are going into every village, trying to influence the Sarpanches, the Pradhans, and trying to make sure that the village becomes a Hero Honda village. And we've seen some very good results there. Mm. The targets are, Mr. Munjal, that Hero Honda will finish up uh, this financial year with about 3.7 million vehicles sold. From what you can see right now, is this a target that you hope to match in FY10, or do you think Hero Honda can actually continue to outperform, i.e., grow on this level? Uh, well, there's, there's no way we are going to stay with these numbers. We definitely are going to continue with the momentum that we have. And, and the inertia uh, uh, is really working well for us. We are going to use this momentum. And going forward, we would be looking for uh, substantial growth in uh, FY10. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be a double-digit growth, but definitely uh, we will target for a high single-digit growth in FY10. Mm. Uh, last 12 months, you've increased your market share very substantially, Pawan. Uh, do you see more scope of doing that, or do you think that this is the year where you will need to give up some market share as your competitors try and strike back after uh, ceding so much ground to you for most of 2008? Also, Honda Motors is probably going to launch a 100cc bike. I mean, how do you read the competitive terrain and therefore the pricing terrain for fiscal year 2010? Yeah. Um, really, we are going to have the same competitors in FI10 as well. Yes, there are uh, one or two new players coming in, but they would be just about uh, starting out. 
uh, the rest of uh, the competitors are all there in this year and have been there in the previous years. Yes, they, they are going to be new model launches by lots of our competitors and, and we will also be like always on a, on a regular basis coming out with new launches, variants and, 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 and new technologies that have really helped us keep our, our uh, uh, you know, forward looking uh, pace in the market. We will continue with that and uh, we will also continue to grow our market share. There definitely is going to be uh, uh, a plan and strategy in place to grow our market share. What are your expectations on the margin front, Bhavan? I mean, as you look into raw material prices, particularly metal prices for 2010, mm -hmm. do you think post-elections metal prices will ease off uh, or do you think metal prices will actually climb having bottomed out in the previous quarter? Um, on the margin front also, uh, we, we have been carrying forward the momentum over the last couple of quarters and things are really looking good and really looking up. Uh, as far as the commodities are concerned, I think the situation across the world for commodities is still still pretty grim and not good at all. Uh, the demand is only going down for commodities. Aluminium, uh, middle of 08, since middle of 08 has actually dropped 50%. And going forward, uh, I personally think that the demand is still slack and I don't see any reason for the commodity prices uh, going up. Um, soon. So next couple of quarters, I should think they either should be staying around, around this level or maybe, maybe even some, some further decline in the commodity prices. Mm. Just want to get your thoughts also, Mr. Munjal, on the nano launch. I mean, I know you've indicated that there is a large difference between a two-wheeler and the nano. I think the point over here that the market is watching is that the whole auto turf is getting recalibrated. A whole new segment is coming up. And because of that, would you have to relook prices just in order to create more loyalty for two-wheelers as a segment? Well, uh, as far as the loyalty for uh, Hero Honda goes, we've actually been building loyalty over the last 25 years. And we've also seen uh, really good, good results and good returns on that front. Now, for the last couple of years, especially with our uh, passport program, which has now been revamped, and we've really strengthened the, the relationship program at Hero Honda. We have a huge number of over 4 million members there, which only will go on increasing uh, yes, the nano, uh, a couple of things there. Uh, firstly, once again, like before, I would like to congratulate Mr. Ratan Tata and his entire team at Tata who were involved with the, the development of this, uh, this car, this project. They have actually put India on the international technology map and the fact that frugal engineering is possible in any product or any commodity. Uh, the whole world is, is watching what's going to happen with the nano. Um, I know for a fact that since January of last year, 08, when at the Auto Expo the nano was launched, wherever you went, anywhere in the world, the first question you would be asked was about the nano and, and uh, how it was done and what impact it's going to have on two-wheelers and on the market. I believe it's going to develop a new niche for itself. And, and as far as the two-wheelers goes, I'm not even saying that there will be no shift at all from the two-wheeler to the, to the nano. There will be some people who want to upgrade into a car and this is a good uh, opportunity for them, a good option for them to, to get into. Uh, having said that, I don't see any major impact on the two-wheelers. You know, when we look at the pricing of the two-wheeler and the nano car, now that the price has been announced, that gap has widened from what we used to think earlier of a one lakh car, it really, one lakh is the X factory price as we now know and, and the price of the consumer is much higher than 100,000 rupees. And I've always maintained that the price is closer to our high end premium bike and the premium bike owner not, is not really the, the buyer of a nano car. The premium bike owner probably already has in his house maybe an even Honda Accord or a Toyota Camry at his house. So he's not really the, the buyer of a nano car. Yeah.